Hi, thanks for watching the News Bunker. I'm Andy Waits. It is Thursday, January 22nd, 2009. President Obama took the oath of office for a second time on Wednesday, since it was so mangled at his inauguration. They're just 35 words, but they're actually written into the Constitution, so it's important to get them right. This time, Chief Justice Roberts took his time, and the words came out in the right order. So once again, Obama promised to preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution. You know, maybe presidents should start every day retaking the oath. The crowd on the mall in Washington for the inauguration left behind some souvenirs. 90 tons of trash. And that's just what the contractors hauled away. Then there were the temp workers hired for about seven bucks an hour to come in and clean up the cups, the banners, even flags left in the dirt. Some would say, especially flags left in the dirt. Those workers need to put a wiggle in it. Today was the National Right to Life Walk on the Mall, starting with 20,000 people back in 1974, right after the passage of Roe v. Wade. 200,000 marched in 2006, the most recent year for which we have numbers. It'll be interesting to see what major media covers today's march. Caroline Kennedy has withdrawn her name from consideration to replace Hillary Clinton in the Senate. Rod Blagojevich is kicking himself because Kennedy had a much bigger credit line than Roland Burris. The salmonella outbreak from peanut butter products has now spread to 125 different foods, from ice cream to dog biscuits. Basically, they're asking us to just skip the skippy. Six have died, 500 have been made very ill by this deadly strain of salmonella that apparently sticks to the roof of your mouth. Now look at newspapers from around the world and across America. First, the New York Times. Wow, look at the paparazzi go to work. They're getting every possible angle of a pen. Media giants are cutting jobs right and left. And here are three guys rushing back to the office with pictures of a pen. And one guy took this picture of three guys taking a picture of a pen. But what's in the LA Times? Well, there's President Obama with his chief of staff, Rahm Emanuel. You know what he's saying. Okay, that's a Whopper with cheese, no onions, and a chocolate shake. Got it. Down the page. Governor of a northern province of Iraq leaves office, says his big accomplishment is staying alive. Well, it's good not to set your goals too high. Let's look overseas. I wonder what they're saying about Obama in Germany, where he campaigned, remember? Well, here's the new Westfalich in Bielefelder, Germany. You don't have to know German to read this. Obama's Blitzstart. See, I see Guantanamo, Iraq, and finance. Schneiden Sie bitte unser Stören und den Etat, Herr President. There's an excellent editorial by Michael Hiltzik in the business section of today's LA Times about Captain Sully Sullenberger. Remember him, the 57-year-old pilot who carefully set that plane down in the Hudson River last week? Captain Sullenberger's experience and quick judgment saved everyone on board that jet, 153 lives. But what if he'd been downsized, forced into retirement so someone younger and less well-paid could fly the plane? Well, until 2004, older workers were at lower risk for being let go because companies had years of investment in their training and knowledge. All that has gone out the window now as companies look at the quick buck, cutting payroll to show a quarterly profit to Wall Street. We're losing decades of valuable institutional memory. Once it's gone, it's gone. And there are no programs from Washington that are going to bring it back. Now, some comments on your comments. N2 The Lord writes, I'm glad to see the bunker is back. I thought maybe the black helicopters had found you. Well, thanks for your concern. You know what, I'm not so concerned about the helicopters as I am the jackbooted thugs going door to door and Carnivore, the software that listens in on your calls and reads your emails, your texts, your IMs. Not that we should worry. As of Tuesday, the government is trustworthy, right? Right? Bueller? Anyone? Right? And finally, the Pearl of Wisdom. Heath Ledger died one year ago today, just 28 years old. What an immense waste of talent. He died of a prescription drug overdose, but he used illegal drugs too. You know, everyone serves a purpose, even if it's as a bad example. So today is sort of a pearl of anti-wisdom. Heath Ledger said, if you're just safe about the choices you make, you don't grow. Hey, Heath isn't growing anymore. Only the legend grows. Well, that's it from the News Bunker. There's more news tomorrow. Your comments are welcome. If you disagree with me, if you agree with me, write about it down in the comments. And if you click the yellow subscribe button, children around the world will sing songs of your wisdom.
Check back with us Monday through Friday for more reports from the News Bunker and tell somebody. Write them an email. Send them to www.youtube.com slash the news bunker. I appreciate that. Thank you for watching.